Good afternoon everyone. This is Vrishali. In my last lectures, we discussed about IRS 232 and I2C protocol in detail. Uh, we also discussed about some previous units points with practical demonstrations. I have mentioned complete processor architecture playlist link in below description box. Now, in this session we will learn the next point that is UART protocol. So let's see. We will discuss following points in this session that is introduction, application, working steps, data packet formation, working steps with example, advantages and disadvantages of UART protocol. So let's see one by one. The first point is about UART protocol. Basically, UART stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver and Transmitter Protocol. In previous session, we discussed about RS-232 and I2C protocol. So that was the communication protocol. But here, UART is not a communication protocol. It is a physical circuit or IC and that was the placed on microcontroller. And this performed the communication between master and slave devices. Another difference is the RS-232 and I2C protocol are the synchronous protocol because they use clock signal while transmitting and receiving devices information. But here UART protocol is work as a asynchronously because there is no clock signals are used while transmitting and receiving the information. So see here, this is a basic specification of UART protocol. There are only two wires are used while transmitting and receiving data. Next, it has 9600 bound rate. It is a maximum speed for transmitting and receiving information. This UART protocol work as a asynchronously means there is no clock signals are used while transmitting and receiving information. It is a serial protocol and it used only one master and slave device for communication purpose. So this is a basic introduction of UART protocol. Next. Now, next point is applications of UART. Nowadays, in latest system, USB port is used. So USB port almost completely replaced with UART. But UART circuit generally used in different electronics project. Suppose you have to connect GPS module or Bluetooth module to your microcontroller or Arduino. So at that time, this UART physical circuit is used. They perform communication or they perform transmitting and receiving information between master and slave devices. So generally this UART used in different electronics projects. Next. Now, the next point is working of UART. So here, first I will explain working steps and data packet formation of UART protocol. After that, I will explain these steps with example. So see here, the first step is, uh, see here, uh, focus here in this image, there is UART1 and UART2. So UART1 work as a transmitter and UART2 work as a receiver. Suppose microcontroller want to send information to the GPS model, okay? And they send information through UART protocol. So the first step is microcontroller send information to UART1 transmitter okay, through this data bus. So this data bus send this information to UART1 transmitter parallelly in the form of bits. So this is your first step. Now next. Okay. The next step is see here in this image microcontroller send information to the UART1 through this data bus in the form of bits and in, in parallel format, right? So this is your first step. Now second step is this UART1 transmitter receive those information, parallel information uh, that is sent by the microcontroller, okay? And UART1 set up this information in the form of packet, okay? Because UART1 send every information to UART2 receiver in the form of packet. See here? This is a structure of packet. This packet carry different bits like one start bit, five to nine data bits, zero to one parity bits, one to stop bits. So I will explain this all bits in detail. Okay, now see here, uh, what was the first step? First step is microcontroller send information uh, to the UART1 transmitter in the form of data bus. 
right this is your first step second step you are to receive those information parallel information and set up all this information in the form of packet this is your second step now just focus on this packet the first bit is called as start bit okay so start bit indicate that see here high to low transmission line okay high to low transmission line and start bit always set logic 0 so this is your start bit because when this packet received by the ur2 you are to check the start bit okay suppose this is your start bit logic 0 then the read information from the next bit that is d0 to d7 this is a actual information so it is uh, easy to understand ur2 whether information will start so this is your start bit so what is start bit start bit set high to low in transmission line second start bit always set logic 0 and third point is you are to when receive this packet it's easy for you are to to understand uh, the start bit and they start reading this information this is the third step so this is your start bit next is the data frame see here 5 to 9 data bits is there microcontroller send information through the database to uart1 right so this information is directly placed on this data frame okay so data frame is your actual data you can carry either 4 bit of data or 8 bit of data in this data frame so this is your data frame means actual information next now the next third bit is parity bits so parity bit generally used when you are to one transmitter transmit information to you are to so this information can't be changed right there are various reasons means some electromagnetic radiation then mismatch bond rates or sometimes long distance data transfer so there was many ch chances to changing this information right so this parity bit check that whether this information accurately received or not or whether the information is changed during transmission that's why this parity bit is used suppose see here in this data frame there are total even number of ones are present right because the data bits carry bit by bit information like 0 1 0 1 1 0 in this format suppose this data frame carry even number of ones so at that time this parity bit set 0 that is even parity and when this data frame carry odd number of ones so at that time this parity bit set 1 that is odd parity okay so this is a work of parity bit means when this uar2 receiver receive this packet they check parity bits okay if parity bit is 1 then they check odd number of ones are present in data frame right means this parity bits are match with this data means accurate or correct information was received but this parity bit is odd but there are even number of ones are present means data was changed right so this is the work of parity bits next now the next is stop bit so stop bit generally last bits that present in this packet see here stop bit always in this transmission line from low voltage to high voltage level okay and stop bit always set logic 1 so you are to receiver understand that this is the end of the particular packet so this is your stop bit so see here start bit always set logic 0 that is high to low and stop bit set logic 1 that is low to high transmission line between d0 to d7 this is 8 bit of data and this is your parity bit so this is a complete data packet and this data packet send uart1 transmitter to uart2 receiver next now see here this is the next step so just uh, revised first step is microcontroller send information to uart1 through the database in parallel format this is your first step second step uart1 receive this information and set up this information in the form of packets this is your second step right now third step is uart1 transmit this information through this tx pin to the uart2 receiver at the rx pin this is your third step that is transmission of information in serial mode okay and uart2 receive this information at this rx pin and they check bit by bit information okay this is your third step next now here the next step is 
when you are to receive this packet and they check all the information whether it is correct or not and after that this correct information they send to the database in parallel mode okay so you are to send this packet information to the database in parallel mode they convert serial data to parallel format right and this database send this information to gps model okay means what was our task microcontroller send information to gps model through this uart protocol so uart protocol work in this way and send this information to gps model so these are the steps of uart protocol next now uh, let's take one example see here the first step is see here our task is microcontroller send information to gps model okay see microcontroller send information first uart1 transmitter okay so they send information through data bus in parallel mode see 01001101 this is your information they send to uart1 transmitter this is your first step now second step uart1 convert this information or set up this information in the form of packet see here this is your packet and this information sent by the microcontroller then what is the work of uart1 they add start bit parity bit and stop bit so start bit always logic 0 this is your parity bit parity bit 0 means odd number of ones are present see here 1 2 3 and 4 means even number of ones are present there that's why parity bit set to 0 and stop bit means logic 1 this is the second step next now next step is after set up packet this uart1 transmit this packet serially to the uart2 receiver okay so this transmit information serially see here at the pin rx this is your third step now fourth step is this uart2 means uart2 receiver receive this packet right see here receive this same packet is there now they check whether the parity bit is match with this data frame parity bit 0 means there are even number of ones are present see they check even number of ones are present there means accurate information is received information was not changed right so they receive this packet and uh, uart2 receiver required only this information now they remove start bit they remove parity bit and also they remove stop bit because they required only information so this is your next step and at the last when you are to receive or receive this packet they send this packet and they convert this serial mode to parallel mode means they send all this information parallelly to the data bus see here all this information sent parallelly to the data bus and at the end data bus send this information to the gps model so this complete setup or complete working will uh, execute within a second okay so in this way uart protocol will work advantages and disadvantages of uart protocol so the main advantages of uart protocol is it uses only two wires for transmission and receiving purpose no clock signals are used and it uses parity bits for a uh, whether change uh, or accurate information is received or not the structure of data packets can be changed whether it is 5 bits of data 9 bits of data in this mode and it is a well documented and widely used method the disadvantages of uart protocol is the size of data frame is limited means you can send on maximum 9 bits of data only and it doesn't supports multiple slave and multiple master system it required only one master and only one slave so these are the different advantages and disadvantages of uart protocol so hope so you understood this protocol completely thank you keep watching